We all have those moments where we wake up at 3 a.m. or 5 a.m. and we don't know why. Like we don't get the regular 5 to 8 hours of sleep. Just like there's a bodily alarm or something that's calling you and it's not even clear what it is. You on the other hand feel startled awake as if you've just woken up. Not even a horror dream. It's simply like something is crying out to you and you have no idea what it is. It has to do with energy. This and why it's occurring. And what are the signals that it's happening? What's the big deal here? This is what we'll be talking about today. And in this video, we'll explain what it means when you wake up between 3 and 5 a.m. I don't mean by your wife or your dog or something. I'm just describing this bizarre, weird occurrence in which you suddenly feel awake, alive, and you don't know why. What exactly is going on? First, let's try to understand. In order to comprehend the universal laws that control everything in the universe, including numerology, science, and how the stars and the moon interact with each other, the cosmos as a whole, and our planet, we must first realize that nothing in this world happens by accident. Everything is orchestrated. In the comments below or in your notebook, please put down your thoughts on this topic. As a reminder of what you've learned, everything has a purpose. It's all on purpose. There's a reason for everything, including the fact that you wake up at a precise hour and see signals of the numbers 222 or 111. As a general rule, you should know that this isn't for everyone. However, as a general rule, the time between 3 and 5 a.m. is the best time to meditate and manifest, and the reason for this is that there isn't a lot of noise around you at that time. Think about it. During this hour, the majority of the population is fast asleep. So what does that mean? It means the vibrational frequency of your surroundings is at a low level, indicating peace and tranquility. As a result, I choose to present it in such a way that it can be easily understood by the general public in the sense that we are all constantly sending signals to the cosmos. Imagine there is only one customer ordering in your entire city, which means you can receive delivery right away. Therefore, in that circumstance, manifestation and meditation are quite effective. Now, some people will comprehend and embrace what I'm about to convey, while others will be perplexed and ask, what is this? What does this mean? This is impossible. However, everything will make sense in the end. Once you start testing this entire theory, those of you who work in the creative fields, your writer, singer, dancer, or other kind of artist, may have experienced moments like these before. At those times, you experience an energy rush and get an idea. It is crucial that you use that energy rush to really put that concept on paper at the same moment. In fact, a lot of best-selling novels and best-selling songs were also written during these times. Why is that so? So whatever you want to call that divine energy, God, Buddha, Krishna, consciousness, or the universe, right? Try to imagine yourself as a creator, selecting and channeling a message to your chosen people. When would you send that message through? When it's most busy? When all the phones are ringing like crazy? Or when it's the quietest? Of course you'll choose when it's the quietest. Therefore, if you are awakened between 3 and 5 a.m., it is a great blessing since you are a chosen one. They selected to send you a message at that moment out of all the people they could have. But the major problem is this. Some people are startled out of their sleep by the strange urge to check the clock. It's only about 3 or 5 a.m. Then they say, right, let's force myself back to sleep. And that's what happens. After that, it's back to sleep for them. So it's almost like the universe is calling you and saying, hey, I got something good for you. It's a very powerful thing. The next best-selling novelist might be you. Okay, now is the time to write this down. In addition, you're telling the university, hey, it's only five o'clock in the morning. Just hang on them and tell me something else another time, please. So it's a little bit like that. As a result, when you receive a signal between the hours of 3 and 5 in the morning, it's imperative that you pick up your phone and listen. First and foremost, when you first receive a signal and you wake up, the first thing you want to do is place both of your feet firmly on the ground, 
grounding energies of what you're doing there. You've got your feet firmly planted in the ground as a first step. Your physical body is awakened and you don't go back to sleep. Aside from that, you are grounding those energy. As a result, you're directing all of your spine's energy toward the domain. So you have a clear signal. You want clarity. That's what you want. You don't want to be lying there thinking, okay, give me the script, right? So at the very least, make an effort to receive the message. Okay, sit up straight with your feet firmly planted on the ground. Let's do this with our palms facing up. A lot of this is receiving mode. We are in grounding mode. Our spines are straight. Our chakras are open. We're getting the message clearly. Breathe in and out. Exhale slowly and calmly. Make sure your mind is at ease. Then, when your mind is clear, just be aware of your feelings. They will connect with you by energy, not necessarily through words or language. Grab a notebook as soon as your mind is at rest. They do this in much the same way as they send you messages through your dreams at times, and you forget your dreams within three seconds of waking up in the morning, and you're like, I was going to mention this to a friend. What was it? I can't recall. Grab a piece of paper and pen and start scribbling down anything that comes to mind. You may think, oh, my mind is playing tricks on me at this point, right? This is irrelevant. If you're having difficulties in your life right now, that's a good indication for you. Just write down anything that comes to mind. All the varied thoughts, everything. You'll learn how to get out of that point since they'll tell you how. Actually, it's quite fascinating. Around seven years ago, a good friend of mine told me about this thing between 3 and 5 a.m. He asked, have you ever been woken up? He advised getting up, putting your feet on the ground, and getting your notepad out. When he told me this, I was going through a very, very difficult time in my business. I was on the verge of bankruptcy. So I went ahead and did just that. As soon as I planted my feet firmly on the ground, I whipped out my notepad. I'm not sure what I was trying to say. I thought to myself, oh, I could do this, and then realized that I could. It's at this tranquil time of day that you should pose the most pressing issue of your life, whatever the question may be, and then write it down and see what comes to mind. A miracle, really. It's a miracle because it saved my life, and it changed my life in the process. So there you have it, guys. There are actually many in-depth explanations available for it. However, most of it is quite specific to specific people based on their circumstances, so it's difficult to provide a general answer for everyone, but it'll get you started on the right track. Nonetheless, if you enjoyed the video or gained any benefit from it, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please leave your thoughts in the comments section below. For those of you who have been experiencing this channel before, please share your stories with us. Ideas at that time are extremely powerful since you are simply receiving from the divine. Please come back and tell us how it went, if you've had any success practicing this. We enjoy hearing about people's successes. It also helps individuals who have concerns and fears about all these different views of the cosmos, and it encourages them to reinforce their own learnings as well. The last thing I want to make mention is that if you're new to this channel and haven't yet subscribed, remember to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you may be alerted when new content is posted on this channel.